Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can do double exposure in Photopea super easily. I got a request, so I'm doing it right now, and it's actually pretty easy and really cool. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is have the picture of the person. So I'm going to be using Eminem for some reason because I could find a PNG of him. I just looked up person head PNG and I found this. So we're going with this. And also I'm gonna find a picture of like a forest. You guys can use a picture of like a city or mountains, whatever you want, but I'm gonna go with the forest. Also, I forget to mention that the picture is super important. Like it really changes how good it looks. So make sure to choose a good picture to put on top of it. So here's my forest. I'm gonna bring it in here. This is what it looks like. All you want to do is put that right on top of your person and go over here to this little box that says opacity and just turn that opacity down just a bit so you can see um, a little bit of the forest and a little bit of the person. Now what you want to do is go to the pen tool over here, change the fill to nothing. And what you want to do is just go around the entire picture. So you want to start out at the bottom left and you can either just click to add a new point or you can hold left click and it'll curve it. So if you got a curve around something, you can do that easily. So you just click all the way around and I'm gonna speed it up at some points. You wanna be as close to the edge as possible, but you don't wanna cut any part of the person out because it will look bad. And I'll probably end up doing that on accident so you'll see why. So here's a curve, so you just want to hold left click and kind of curve around it. It's kind of hard to get used to, but you'll get used to it. Okay, now I'm back down below the picture. What you're gonna wanna do is just click all the way around the border like this and connect back to your start. So right here. So now if you right click anywhere in the selected area and click make a selection and then hit okay, it'll select it with a dotted line. Now what you wanna do is click on that background layer or the forest background and then hit delete and it will delete all of the background. So now you can just hit Control D to deselect and then delete the shape layer it made and delete the other layers that were made. Or what you can do is when you get to this point, if you connect back to the start, right click, make a selection, hit OK, and then click on the forest background, hit Control C and Control V or just hit Control J to duplicate it. So now if you hide that, you can see that this layer is here. And I just cut it out like in like two seconds just to show you guys the other way of doing it. Rather than cutting out the background, you cut out just this part. So now we have him and the forest on him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to this half circle and go to hue and saturation and completely take the saturation out. This is just gonna make it black and white, which will give it a cool look. Now what we're gonna do is just click out of this menu and click on this white box right here Go over to your brush tool, click this little drop down menu and click on this soft mechanical and turn the size up to about 190 or actually we'll do 300. So now if you click, oh also make sure that this top box is black right here. Make sure it's black, that's super important. So now when you click in places, it'll start to bring back the color of it which can give it a really awesome look. Uh, I don't want to bring back any of a skin color. I just want to bring back some of the forest color because it looks really cool. So there we go, we brought back some of the green. I mean, you can try bringing back some of the skin color if you're about that, but I don't really want to do that. I want to stick to the theme. So we got some green back, still black and white in some places, so it's looking really cool. Uh, now what we can do is Go to this forest background layer. Go down here to this little rectangle with a circle in it and that's gonna add a mask layer. So if you go to your brush tool, which we are already on, and your color is set to black, you can start to erase 
some of the picture. So if you want to kind of get rid of the forest in some places, like his head. And if you want to bring it back, just change this top box to white. Or if you hit X, it'll switch between the two colors. So if you have black and white, it'll work out good. So white brings back the forest. So we could bring back the forest in some of these areas. So now what you can do is go back to this forest layer and turn the opacity up on it to like 100%. Or you could turn it down just a little bit. It gives it a really cool look where it's kind of like he's part of the forest and I think that's a cool look. So if we put it at 100% we can start to bring in some of the trees and stuff. Like I don't know it's really up to you it's whatever you want to do you can do it. And uh, I just think it looks really cool. Like that looks really awesome and you could even turn the opacity down just a little bit. If you still want to have his jacket showing through and we could even add some colors back over here. What you can do to make this picture look even better is add some curves. So get down here to this half circle, go to curves and go up on this line and down on this line and it will make it more detailed and darker around some places and it just makes it look better all around. So that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.